Hello amazing artists! Today we are going to be drawing self-portraits. Are you ready? Let's start about talking what is a portrait. A portrait is an artwork or an art piece about a person which tells us something about them. Do you remember the famous painting of the Mona Lisa? Well, actually, the artist Leonardo da Vinci made a portrait of the Mona Lisa. When another person is making a drawing or a painting about another person, that's called a portrait. And on the other hand, what is a self-portrait? A self-portrait is a painting or drawing of yourself that is done by yourself. See? In this image, we can see a person that is drawing an image of himself. It is, we can call it like a selfie, but instead of using a cell phone, you use pencils, markers, colors, and you draw it instead of just taking a picture. There are many artists that were very good at making self-portraits, like Frida Kahlo, Vincent van Gogh, the Austrian painter Egon Schiele, or even the artist that painted the Mona Lisa. He painted images about himself, Leonardo da Vinci. Today, we are going to draw our own self-portrait. We are going to need some paper, a pencil, an eraser, and some coloring crayons. Let's start by drawing the shape of an egg. That is going to be the outline of our face. Let's try to draw very, very light because we are going to raise some of those lines. Once I have the shape of the egg made, I'm going to divide it in half, horizontally and vertically. In that horizontal line, it's where our eyes are going to go. Then if we divide in half the vertical line, the lower vertical line we just made, that is where our nose is going to be at. And again, if we divide that lower part in half, that line is going to be where our mouth is going to go. So first horizontal line for the eyes, the second for the nose, and the third for our mouth. Let's start with the nose. We are going to build a triangle from the middle point of the horizontal and the first vertical line we made. And now we're going to draw a little canoe or a new and a parenthesis sign. That is going to be our nose. You can draw the nostrils, two little black holes inside of the canoe or you we made. Now we're going to get that measurement of the nose and we're going to throw two lines up straight and that's where our eyes are going to start. We're going to draw a mountain and a canoe, another mountain and a canoe on the other side to make the two shapes of the eyes. Now we're going to draw a big circle that's going to be the iris of our eyes. I'm also going to make a small little circle right on top that's going to be the highlight that's going to be white, and then another small circle, and that's going to be the pupil for our eyes. Let's draw the eyelids on top of each eye, and now some eyelashes on each eye. Now let's draw the eyebrow, well, the, each eyebrow on top of each eye. Now that we're done with that, let's continue with our nose. We're going to draw a small canoe and the letter V right in the middle and we're going to join those lines. Also another U behind for the U. Now let's draw the ears. They go from the line of the eyes to the line of the nose. Remember, this is a self-portrait. It has to be based on you. So the shape of your face can be of a circle, a square, a triangle. Usually boys have more square, uh, square shape like face and girls it's more triangular. So if I were you, I would stand up, go and look yourself in the mirror and discover what kind of shape is your head. Okay, now I'm going to draw the neck. It's two vertical lines and also the shoulders. Remember, if, you're more, if your face is more square, you can draw it more square. Now I'm going to go ahead with the hair. I'm going to look at my hair 
I always wear my line to the side. I also have long hair, so that is what I'm gonna be drawing. You need to look carefully. Again, you can use your mirror or you can use a picture of yourself. And once I'm done doing this, I am gonna erase the lines that I didn't use. Those were our guidelines. Remember the vertical horizontal line we did at the beginning? I'm gonna erase those because they are not gonna be part of the portrait. I'm gonna try to keep the, the little triangle we had at the nose so it gives it a little bit three-dimensional illusion. I'm also gonna draw myself a t-shirt just so I don't feel like I'm naked. And now I'm gonna start with the color. I'm gonna start with my hair. In my case, my hair is half blonde, half brown. So I'm gonna draw this, I'm gonna color these brown lines all through my hair. Following the movement of my hair, they're not all gonna be straight lines, they're also gonna be wavy and curvilinear. And now I'm gonna get the other color that is yellow, to make me a little bit blonde. Now I'm gonna continue coloring the rest of my face. I have blue eyes, so I'm gonna use blue. You will use whatever color your eyes are of. I'm gonna paint my lips red and pinkish. And actually, I don't have the color skin in my crayons. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use pink. I'm painting or coloring with very small circles just so I don't leave any white space. I'm not doing it quickly like this, like, oh, no. I'm going very slowly with this circular motion of my hand to make my skin look like skin. No white spaces. Just take your time in here. Remember, we're not in a hurry. We want this to look very, very good. I'm speeding up the process over here, but don't worry. You take your time. I'm also painting my neck. And afterwards, what I'm gonna do is that with that same crayon, I'm gonna be pressing hard on some parts of my face, like the eyelids, the ears, and all that sharpie ends, okay? I'm almost finished, but not yet. I'm gonna put some color on my t-shirt. I'm doing these purple stripes as my favorite t-shirt. And I'm gonna do something for the background. You know, we hate white backgrounds, so I'm just gonna do some clouds and I'm gonna paint a blue sky. Yeah, so it doesn't look that white. And ta-da! Here we have our self-portrait. Now you need to sign it as the artist you truly are. I cannot wait to see all of your self-portraits. I will see you very soon. Bye!